welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Key, and this is Kicking It with Key. If you are new to the channel, go ahead hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can get notified anytime I post. All right. So as you read by the title, this is our first ever Cooking with Key series. Um, if you are a fan of my shorts, you know that I sit there and like love to cook and like um, show you the best recipes i can that are quick and you know i can film in a minute but i wanted to branch out and give you like a full-on um cooking series because it's something i'm very passionate about and who doesn't want to hang out with me while i cook anyways so today's menu is going to be salisbury steak this is one of my um favorite dishes to make um so yeah we're just going to dive right into it i have my water boiling over here for the potatoes and then we got a pan right here we'll skillet all right so if you watched my live before this i prepped the onions and i prepped the potatoes so we got our potatoes all cut up right now onions are over there sitting um but yeah so we're gonna get into this i got me my little drinky drink i'm sipping on bare Foot fruit scotto. And yes, I for the record I am 23. I'll be 24 in eight days. Alrighty, let's top off because you know it's five o'clock somewhere. But to keep this show interesting, um, my boyfriend is behind the camera. You know my little production team, and he's got some questions and some topics um, that we're gonna go over, um, so we can keep this lit and entertaining. Alrighty. Yeah, just ask me whenever you want me to hit you with a question. All right. So right now I'm just waiting for um, my uh, potatoes water to boil. So we're going to get started with prepping the meat so we can get all of this done fast and efficiently. Um, I'm using, um, this is from Sam's Club. It is 93% lean beef. Typically... If um, Wagyu beef is on hand, I prefer Wagyu beef. Um, the fattier, the better. And I just think for this dish, it's the best. But yeah, let me prep this and then we'll go ahead and start with the questions. That way I can tell you all what is in um, the meat. So this typically makes um, four good patties. Um, so we're going to start with the meat in the bowl, as you can see. All right. And then we're going to start with breadcrumbs. Um, you can use any you like. I just, that's the kind I chose. Um, and it's one third cups of breadcrumbs. One third. Right. You're going to put that in the pan. All right, and then it's just a little bit of ketchup. And these parts, I don't know the measurements, I just do. If you're a real chef, you know you can just eyeball stuff. And nine times out of 10, it tastes phenomenal. All right, so I'm gonna do one, two. Mustard. One, two. And then Horsershire. I wouldn't say this is the key ingredient, but I've never had Salisbury steak without the Horsheshire, so it could be the key ingredient. And I don't even know what Horsheshire is. It just unwrapped the flavor. I don't know. Sponsor me. And then, um, so we can measure it, because I don't want to do too much. We're going to do a half teaspoon. We do a little half more. You don't want too much that it's nasty, but you want like a half. All right, and then of course you gotta pepper. This is weird, but it's an electric. What's 
just a little salt. Let me just add a little more pepper because I don't care. Oh, that's not too peppery. All right, so then I'm going to just use my hands. Water is almost to a boil for the um, potatoes, but it's not quite yet. All right, you can. Okay, so I'm going to mix this. As you see, it's in the bowl, and then we're just going to mix it and then put it in four patties. But while I'm doing that, we can start with some questions. What got you into cooking? Um, I think when I was young, my grandma had this little toy kitchen, um, and I would always make her meals, and she would eat my imaginary meals. Um, but pretty much the fact that my fake cooking made her happy, um, real cooking makes people even more happy. So it's pretty much the way to people's heart and soul is cook them a good ass meal, really. What are some of the favorite things you'd like to cook? Um, tacos. I would love to cook, like do my own spin on um, Mexican meals, um, especially tacos and like um, fajitas and stuff. And then also like Italian. I love a good pasta dish, but like not your average pasta dish. You like, you always got to spruce it up from, you know, Alfredo and stuff. If you could start a food truck, what would you specialize in? Probably a build your own panini. So like we would have like maybe four main paninis and then um, you can do a build your own because I think a build your own is always cool. And then obviously make some chips, you know, have like homemade chips to go with that. All right, y'all. So we got the water boiling. So we're gonna add our potatoes in. All right, so we're gonna let that boil. We're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes on those potatoes. And then we'll check it from there, but all right. So let me get back to mixing this meat and answering some questions because I see a few spots just weren't fully mixed. Uh, if you could eat one thing forever, what would it be? Honestly, tacos. I'm not going to lie. And because you technically didn't specify and a taco can come in multiple different meats in multiple different ways. You could do your little onion and cilantro type of tacos, or you could do your Taco Bell style tacos. But regardless, I'm going to eat a taco. Mm. All right. So we got this meat mix. This is what the meat should look like. It should, everything should be fully incorporated. And as I said, um, this typically makes four decent sized patties for a pound of ground beef. But if you have to make it into five, you very well can. Um, but you know, the thicker the better, in my opinion. Because I used to like banquet uh, Salisbury steaks. And it's wild because them, them used to smack. But then it's like as an adult, them shits is sick as hell. Um, so I was like, ooh, let me make it as an adult. And it's so much better. It tastes better. You feel better after eating it. Very good comfort meal. All right, so we got these in the four patties. Um, I smashed them in the skillet. So let me wash my hands before I start touching skillets and stuff. I want to keep this as sanitary as possible. Shout out to my mother for letting me use her gorgeous kitchen.
for my cooking series. We're trying to get her a pool. So if you'd like to hit that subscribe button and help me achieve my goal, go ahead, right ahead and do it. Greatly appreciated. Because we are not yet monetized. All right, so I'm gonna turn on my skillet. cook these on like a four or five six ish right in between there um but yeah we're gonna throw these into the skillet and then um we're gonna cover it because i feel like if you cover it it just um it cooks faster and even if you don't cover it you're gonna see like your shit's still raw you don't want raw meat Place it in the skillet like so. And we're going to take our nifty little spatula. We are going to flatten them. I look like I'm struggling. I'm sorry, y'all. I never used my mom's skillet before. I'm hot. This liquor got me sweating. It's hot. Was this a skillet that needed preheated? All of them did. Yeah, it needed preheated, y'all. I'm sorry, my ADHD got the best of me. All right. All right. All right, y'all, so we got the potatoes. Um, they're about done. They need like an extra minute. And then here's um, our patties cooking. Um, in just like a few minutes, I'm going to add the onions so they can get sauteed. Then we're going to flip it and add, um, the lid so they can, like, cook all the way. But yeah, so potatoes are going to finish in like another minute. Alright, so I got my bowl rinsed because we're about to shred these potatoes. Or not shred them, strain them. training these bad boys. Then we're gonna flatten our patties just a little more. Oh, let me come over. We're just gonna flatten the patties. Yeah, it looks a little thick in here or whatever, but they'll be alright. And then we're gonna flip. Get a nice sear on those things. Get the oil, spread it out. I think it's because this is lean. Yeah, it's because this is lean. It has like no oil. Mother, so I might just add just a hair of olive oil to the pan because this is really, really lean beef. So there's no like juices to get the onion saute. And then we're going to add our onions. Alright, so we got these onions in here. Going to give them, make sure they get a little wet. And then we're going to close it. That way it can seal in all the heat. Alright, and then we're going to go back to the potatoes. So I'm going to just put these back in the skillet. I'm going to put them in the bowl. We're going to mix them in the bowl. All right. And then for my potatoes, I like just a little bit of cream to keep them creamy. Just a little bit. You can add more as you go. I'm going to add some butter. Gotta have butter. Maybe that amount. And 
And then we are going to add salt. And pepper. And y'all, I'm going to admit, I definitely forgot to add onion powder and garlic powder to my meat. But, oh, I think it'll still be good. We'll make my stepdad's better. Since he's the real food critic. Yeah, so we got that going. And then we're just going to mash. So you just mash like so. Who's texting me? Sometimes I prefer garlic mashed potatoes, but we don't got them. All right, we're going to get back right into the questions. Uh, what's your favorite music? Like genre? Yeah. Um, probably R&B. I'm a sucker for R&B music. Well, then what is your favorite musical artist? <laughs> Um, I would say Nickelback or Rod Wave. Okay. Yes. We got those cooking, but while we're doing that, I'm going to take a break from the um, mashed potatoes and start on the gravy. So I use Aldi's gravy mix. So each um, packet requires one cup of water. So in this um, thing, I have two cups of water because I'm using two packets. And then you're just going to give it a whisk. And whisking this is crucial because if you don't, it'll clump in the pan and you don't want that. Alright, so while that's sitting, I'm going to check these. You don't want to have any pink in there. Yeah, let me finish mashing these potatoes. And I'm actually going to try a little because... A little more cream. Yeah, comment down below what artist you guys are feeling right now. Um, so I really want to be an entrepreneur and I'm like a character. Anybody who knows me knows I'm very theatrical. I'm very amusing. I make people laugh like it's my job and I don't get paid to do it. Not only being an influencer, but like giving back to the damn world. So many people do YouTube solely for like the fame. And I'm like, it's more to it than that. Like, how are you going to capitalize off the situation? What are you going to do to change the narrative? It can't just be, oh, I want to I wanna buy this, I want to buy that. Materials don't matter because say they take YouTube away. Well, what the hell are you going to do? But that's me because I just want to get back to the world. What's your stance on marriage? I would love to get married. I don't want to be just a baby mother. I think it's tacky. That's just my opinion. And it's like, it sounds so much better. My husband, my husband. Or like my wife, my wife. Like who just wants to be called a damn baby mother? Like, no. No. 
what's your stance on marriage? Y'all drop down in the comments how you feel about marriage. Some people will be like, they don't need the piece of paper. But I'm like, it's more to it than a piece of paper. Like, wouldn't you just, you know, it just sounds fancy. It sounds classy. It sounds beautiful. You know, when you're just a girlfriend, okay, and But why would I do wife shit if I'm just a girlfriend? Don't make no damn sense. That's my opinion. I was asked. I answered. Stop so settling nice. for being baby mothers, y'all. Please stop it. You are worth more than a baby mother. What's the most memorable moment you had on YouTube so far? Most memorable? Yep. Honestly, probably my Donald Trump short, if y'all saw it. I literally just made a joke and it was my most viral video. That's a good thing, right? Alright, we're going to bring down the heat on this and turn it to low. We're going to give these this gravy a stir again so it doesn't clump. side for this if you have the time is either baked mac and cheese or pretty much just any mac and cheese really mm. what's your favorite hobby cooking as you can see but if it's not cooking probably painting i love to paint what's your favorite holiday uh Christmas and the 4th of July. The 4th of July because um, it's the perfect time of the year to be outside barbecuing. And then I would say Christmas because my family knows they get one holiday a year with me and I choose Christmas. True story. So we have our mashed potatoes, you guys. And then I'm pretty much just going to show you guys what the plate looks like. And then that'll be it for today's first ever cooking with key. If I made you laugh today, hit that subscribe button. If I made a good meal, hit that subscribe button. tuning in today it's your girl key and this is kicking with key um thank you for joining us drop down in the comments if there's anything special you would like to see me um create and also always drop questions because anytime i do these videos i'm most likely just going to be answering questions or just talking about random topics but yeah thank you for tuning in it was a pleasure until next time bye